Welcome back to The Reading Corner with Mrs. G. For more great stories, subscribe here. Have you lost a tooth yet? What did you do with the tooth? Did you put it under your pillow? Did you receive some money from your tooth? What did you do with the money that you received? Well, in this story, it's called A Quarter from the Tooth Fairy. Do you know how much a quarter is? A quarter is 25 cents. Here's a quarter. It's got George Washington on the front, worth 25 cents. What would you do with a quarter? Let's find out what this boy did. A quarter from the Tooth Fairy. I found a shiny quarter where I put my tooth last night. I could hardly wait to spend it, but I wanted to do it right. I jumped up on my bicycle with the money from the fairy. I knew just what to do with it. Buy a monster from my friend Mary. I hadn't had that monster long when I was surprised to find it didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. I raced over to Mary's house and made it just in time. Mary took the monster back. I got a nickel and two dimes. I rode my bike around the block and came to my favorite store. I park my bike and cash in hand, I walk right through the door. I saw gumballs, kites, and games, games, games. Too sticky, too big, too much. So I bought a spaceship pencil. It was the perfect touch. I hadn't had that pencil long when I was surprised to find. It didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. I turned and rode back to the store, the pencil in my sack. I gave the clerk the pencil. I got five nickels back. I had the change in my pocket when I saw my old friend Jim. Jim said, it's hot, but I know what. Come with me, we'll swim. I still had my money with me when we finally reached the pool and there I bought Lupe's red goggles because they look so cool. I hadn't had those goggles long when I was surprised to find they didn't feel right, they felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. When Jim and I found Lupe, she was flipping over at Kenny's. She was happy to have her goggles back in exchange for 25 pennies. Now that I had my money back, I thought about what to do. I stopped to look at the animals and bought a sticker at the zoo. I hadn't had that sticker long when I was surprised to find it didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. You guessed it. I changed my mind. The woman at the zoo was nice. She said, here's your quarter kid. But by now I was pretty tired from all the buying and returning I did. It seemed so very silly to keep changing and changing my mind. Suddenly, I had a great idea. This was an idea of a whole new kind. What do you think you did? I hurried on home to my house and yes, I'm telling the truth. The quarter went back under my pillow and I bought back my tooth. Great story. All right, so a quarter. How much is a quarter worth? A quarter is worth 25 cents. Now, 
he changed his quarter when he changed his mind and ended up getting two dimes and a nickel. Is that 25 cents? Was it fair? Yes, it was fair because 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 5 because a dime is worth 10 cents and a nickel is worth 5. So we got five, 10 and 10 plus 5. So 25 cents. So it was a fair exchange. Then he changed his mind again, and this time he received five nickels. Is that a fair, a fair exchange? A nickel has Thomas Jefferson on it, and it's worth five cents. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yes, it was a fair exchange. It's still 25 cents. It just looks different. So we have one quarter is 25, two dimes and a nickel is 25, or five nickels is 25. Then he changed his mind again. And what did he get back this time? 25 pennies. I got him here, 25 pennies. All right. So we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. I do have twenty-five here. And on the penny we have Abraham Lincoln. They're worth one cent. So Abraham Lincoln's on the penny. Do you remember who was on the nickel? Thomas Jefferson's on the nickel. We didn't talk about the dime that much. The dime. Does anybody know who was on the dime? On the dime is Franklin Roosevelt. So we have Jefferson nickel, Roosevelt dime, Lincoln penny. I finished my rhyme. Dog wants some money too. No, I don't think so. Maybe you can use your money to buy a puppy dog. Mm, not for 25 cents. All right, so 25 cents. It could look like a quarter. It could look like two dimes and a nickel. That's 25. Five nickels. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Or 25 pennies. How many ways can you make it? So uh, one way that you could practice is just ask if mom or dad has some extra coins that you can just practice counting to see how much money they are worth. Have fun with it. And for more stories about losing your teeth, <laughs> look in the reading corner with Mrs. G. See you next time.